today you're going to learn everything you need to know about how to make perfect chocolate eclairs, perfectly shaped, perfectly crispy choux pastry filled with Chantilly cream and topped with glossy chocolate sauce. Hey guys, I'm Nick and I'm back doing voiceovers. Thank you to everyone for being patient and for the well wishes. I'm glad to be back. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's begin with the choux pastry. We're going to be adding some butter to a large saucepan. You're going to melt that before you add your water, sugar and salt. Mix that on medium heat. When it starts bubbling around the sides, turn off the heat and add your bread flour. Mix this until it reaches a dough and you're going to continue mixing this with the heat back on, medium heat, for about two to three minutes. Stir it continuously guys. You can use regular all-purpose flour, but the bread flour is going to help you keep your beautiful, nice, perfect eclair shape. That's one way to do it. I'm going to show you two other things you need to do to make sure your eclairs look perfect. After two or three minutes of stirring, you're going to take this off the heat and let it cool in the pot for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, you want to whisk your eggs together. You're going to be adding a quarter of the eggs into the cool dough and mixing until well combined. Then you add the next quarter. So we're adding one egg at a time and continue mixing until all the eggs are in the dough. The mixture will begin thinning out, getting glossy and kind of sticky. You're looking for the right texture here. Most of the time, four eggs is the perfect amount to use in this recipe. The way you want to test it is by pinching some of the dough between two fingers. And when it's stretched apart, the dough shouldn't break, but be stiff enough to hold its shape. The dough will also be smooth and slightly shiny. If the dough is not at that consistency and it's too stiff and it breaks, whisk another egg and add one tablespoon at a time, mixing each time until you get the right consistency. Let's move on to piping and I'm about to show you tip number two to getting perfectly shaped eclairs. I'm going to be using a large piping bag fitted with a 1.2 centimeter or half inch French star tip. That's what you're seeing on screen right now. You can use a regular open star tip or a round tip to pipe your eclairs but this particular star tip is going to get you that really nice eclair shape. Pipe 10 centimeter long or four inch long eclairs on your baking tray. I've lined mine with a silicon baking mat. You can use baking paper, but I found you get a better shape with the silicon baking mat. When you're piping your eclairs, you want each end of the eclair to be slightly wider than the middle because as this bakes, the middle is gonna puff up the most. And so if you have slightly wider ends, your eclair is gonna look like a uniform shape. Now you can use scissors to cut off the ends as you're piping your eclairs, but if you just lift up gently, you're gonna get a little bit of a spiky end. The way that you wanna smoothen this out is by dipping your finger in a little bit of water and just smoothening that end of the eclair, because if you've got jaggedy edges on your eclairs, they're gonna burn in the oven. So you wanna make sure they're nice and smooth. The final and third step to getting perfectly shaped eclairs is to dust the tops with powdered sugar. This helps the eclair kind of, uh, look, it's just magic, it keeps its shape. So you're gonna bake these in the middle rack of your oven for 30 to 35 minutes on 190 degrees Celsius, which is 375 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 30 minutes, these are gonna go a nice dark golden color. You want to let them sit in the oven with the door slightly ajar. Put a wooden spoon in there to keep it open for about five or 10 minutes. This is going to stop your eclairs from collapsing as they cool. When they come out of the oven, you want to pop them onto a cooling rack to cool completely. To decorate your eclairs, you're going to use the end of a fork or a knife to prick two holes in the bottom of each eclair. I'm going to be using Chantilly whipped cream to fill mine, but you can use traditional pastry cream. All those recipes on the scranline.com and I've left the links in this written recipe on the website. Add the filling to a piping bag fitted with a small round tip and insert the piping bag into the holes and fill the eclairs. As you're filling them, you're going to feel the eclairs getting much heavier. That's how you know you've filled them properly. For the glaze, I'm basically just going to be using my chocolate sauce recipe, which I've left a link in the written recipe on the website as well. It's really easy, it's a one bowl recipe and it's super glossy. You're gonna dip the top of your filled eclairs in the sauce and just shuffle it around a little bit to make sure it coats the eclair properly. 
lift it up to allow as much of the excess to drip off and then it's done guys this is ready to eat now or you can pop them in the fridge and serve them in a couple hours time I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe. I'm glad to be back doing voiceovers and thank you to everyone for being so patient and for being so nice. Recipe for this chocolate eclair recipe is on my website, thescrowline.com. I'm super excited to share this recipe. I love eclairs. I know lots of you guys love them. It's been highly requested. The recipe is on thescrowline.com. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrown Line. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. I just wanted to chime in at the end and let you know I have a savory channel. It's called The Scran Line Every Day. And what you're seeing on screen is my latest recipe. All of my recipes are pretty much family friendly, easy to make, and just really delicious, easy dinner options. You'll find all of the recipes, including my dessert and savory recipes, on thescranline.com. But check out the savory channel, it's called The Scranline Every Day and I've left a link down below for the latest recipe.